Welcome, everybody, to this special edition of the Valpo Athletics Coaches Show. It's brought to you by our friends at Lakeshore Bone and Joint Institute. Brian Vickery with you. Glad to be joined via Zoom by the head coach of the Valpo football program, Landon Fox. And uh, a unique time of year to be for us to be chatting, but that's because the team just finished up the spring game uh, on Sunday and uh, the spring season that will break down here in just a few minutes. But let's start with this. Just what was it like to have the opportunity to take the field in a game type atmosphere for the spring game, to have recruits and incoming freshmen there? And just what was the whole event like on Sunday? Yeah, just in terms of the excitement, energy, it, it was it was awesome. Um just a combination of, of a lot of really um, exciting things happening within our program. Like you talked about, we had a junior day where, you know, we probably had roughly 200, 250 um, prospects um, come to the game. And obviously that creates a, a really nice crowd um, and the excitement uh, around Valpo football. And then we had our incoming um, freshmen, you know, our commits that will be here this summer and into the fall. They were there, their, them and their families. And um, so we were able to, um, to spend time with them and then get them incorporated into our families of our current players. And to, so that, that those relationships start to build. And um, we had a picnic after the, the game um, with those two groups and got a chance to introduce um, the incoming guys, which we called the little brothers and introduce them to the big brothers on our team. And just to help with that transition from high school to college. And um, so for, for, for me, and I say this all the time, it's about people and it's about relationships and it's, you know, it started with junior day and recruiting with those guys and then your current players and then the incoming freshmen. So that's that to me is where the excitement comes from. Break down the football a little bit. Let's start on the defensive side of the ball. It seems like a successful day for the defense on Sunday. It's kind of your thoughts on the, the defense during the spring game and the spring season as a whole. Yeah, but, you know, I think, you know, and this is what I, I you know, I told them going into the spring that we have um, a very talented group on defense and the expectations um, and standards are very high. They they always are, um, but relative to the guys that we have on that side of the ball, um, the expectation is for them to, to be a very productive unit. And um, we did that at times this spring, um, but the reality is we still have to um, execute at a higher level for a longer period of time. The consistency piece, because um, you'll see flashes because you have some, you know, we have some very good talent out there, but um, we have to be consistent in our approach. But the offensive side of the ball, some things you like, some things you want to improve upon from this spring. You know, it kind of does go along with that, you know, the consistency piece and then finding the guys, you know, we, we do have some um, spots where we'll have some newcomers in there from from last year's team. And so, you know, finding those guys that can fill that void. Um, and then our job as coaches to make sure that we're putting those new guys in the right positions to to be successful. So but the consistency, you know, as, you know from the game, Brandon, just um, the execution has to be at a higher level, um, especially offensively. And you, you saw at times we had some plays, you know, here and there, but the consistency with which we did them must, must uh, improve. Let's talk about the transition. You welcome in two new coordinators on each side of the ball, offensive and defensive for this spring. Uh, how did that transition unfold over the course of the spring? Yeah, you know, we had the opportunity to, you know, to bring in two two new coordinators and um, and actually a couple of different staff members. And the thing that I always think about is, you know, you hate losing people, um, good people, that, that's that's tough. Uh, but at the same time, you, you want to have a mentality that you, when you do that, that you have an opportunity to improve your program. Um, and, and I think that's the way you have to approach it. And uh, from a defensive perspective and with, with Dave Marquis, you know, that, that's a guy that I was comfortable with and had spent time with working um, for four years while I was at Dayton. Um, and then Matt Sims and, uh, and then Andy uh, Prevost, our O-line coach, you know, the, those two guys bring a lot of experience. You know, Andy Prevost, the line coach, comes from the Missouri Valley over the last, you know, 12 years or so. Um, you know, and then Matt Sims, I mean, NFL experience, you know, three years of NFL experience. So a lot of experience there. And, and so some of that execution I talk about on offense is, the reality is, is continuing to um, learn the scheme, right? And so that comes with just time. Let's talk about this point in the calendar now. Uh, what does this point in the calendar look like for you as a coaching staff or you as a football program? And how do you take steps at this point in the calendar to get ready for the fall? Yeah, I think this is big time. You know, I thought our guys did an outstanding job in the winter. We made improvements. Um, and then into the spring, I thought we took steps. Um, each each practice took advantage of that opportunity, but now it's summertime. And so 
our summer program will start at the end of May. You get eight weeks and we'll start at the end of May and, and then uh, finish up end of July. But, you know, the neat, neat thing about uh, college football now is they give you summer access. And so we'll be able to spend some time with our guys this summer, um, continuing to improve those those things that I'm talking about schematically, fundamentals, techniques, and we can actually get out and work with them. So uh, big bonus there. There he is, the head coach of the Valpo football program, Landon Fox. Before you know it, we'll be chatting to preview the season opener at Youngstown State. Hey, uh, let's give, give me some time, Brandon. <laughs> we'll, we'll kick it off uh, sooner rather than later. And for all the latest in Valpo football, you can check out ValpoAthletics.com. We'll talk to you again next time on the Valpo Coaches Show, sponsored by our friends at Lakeshore Bone and Joint Institute.